You are entering a Maple Story 8 bit podcast zone. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Activate. Alright, everybody, welcome to episode 7 of the Maple Story 8 bit podcast, the long awaited episode that everyone has been waiting for. I know, I know. We're famous da, da, da. in the Maple Story world. Um. The reason to delay this one is because there honestly was not much to talk about Maple Story until now. We have uh, a lot of stuff to talk about. I am your host, Drakura. I am a level 131 Blade Master in Kradia. Um, Guild Bit, of course. And joining me in this podcast is Landon, Michael, and back from his vacation is Ali, and they shall introduce themselves right now. Hey, my name's Ali. I'm a level one beginner. Yeah, I'm in the guild 8 bit. The cake is a lie. Well, I honestly <laughs> don't know the character I'm, I play on. So I'm everything. Yes. Ali uh, plays my on name. 14 characters. Yeah, he's like a transvestite of Maple Story. Okay, my name is Landon. I am Mass Creed in game. Uh, in Cradia, I am one level one twenty six in Guild sixteen bit. Um, I'm Mike. I am Musashi in the Guild thirty two bit, and I'm a level one hundred and thirty Blade Master. Ooh, Blade Master. Gotta love it, man. Um, let's see. Back, I gotta change my pants. Yes, I'm sure. Let's start with our one week in Maple. Well, I guess two weeks in Maple. In the past two weeks, I have been grinding. That's it. Making some flour in Maple Story. Grinding it. Grinding the wheat. I've sold a bunch of shit. That's about all I've done. Mm. That's pretty cool, man. Uh, unlike me, well, yeah, uh, I've been sitting there like, trying to play Maple Story at like late at night while the internet was still on, in like on my vacation, and I barely got anything done. But then I came out today, I got some stuff and made Stormcaster gloves. <gasps> yeah, and th- I'm leveling my Evan right now. He's level uh, 200. Uh, and you're leveling him? That's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Lionel? What have you been up to these past two weeks? Um, uh, a lot of grinding. I remember me, you, and Mike did some Dragon PQs and a couple Zakums. And uh, did those stupid uh, GMS unique content quests, which fail hard. So hard. How about you, Mike? What have you been up to? Are you even here? Yeah, I'm here. Um, nothing really. Just did the PQs with you guys, a few Zachums. Uh, got the skill books. Chains of Hell is pretty fun and just grinded, really. Same old, same old. flower. That's what we're calling it from now on. Maybe series seems so much fun. Grind, grind. Yeah, well. Grind a thon. We gotta get to a high level, you know, to get the noobs in the guild some inspiration. Then we'll do some Z runs and maybe we'll keep some high level people. People will stop bitching. Yeah, well, the rosters are looking pretty good now. Have a decent amount of. Yeah, there's a lot of 100 plus, man. I noticed that a couple of days ago. I was like, wow, there's a lot of 100 plus people on right now. Noise. Yeah. I like it a lot. Are there still like, am I still the only bowmaster, or is there some other guy? Yes. You are. Yes, to which one? You are the only bowmaster. Okay, Actually, that's good. no, we have a level one thirty-six bowmaster. 
really. Yes, you streaker. It's a good friend of mine. <laughs> okay, I gotta kill him. I gotta like out him. I gotta out level him. Yes. Just gonna teleport to you. Yeah, give me a sec. So I wanted to do a quick shout out to Vanessa, who is grounded from the computer currently. That's what I hear on the street. Ooh. <laughs> so yeah, what did she do? <laughs> I guess she was like up all night, like uh, webcamming with Jackie's girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Mike, you can tell it to me. Addict. Yeah, that's uh, strange. Hey, Shadow's a crazy blade who's getting hacked. Except he's a noob, and he's not. <laughs> oh, I thought uh, you were, like, actually being serious. <laughs> well, if he's not here tomorrow, then we'll know what happened. Uh, hey guys, you just type in, keep typing that we're airing live, get some people listening to this shit. I would if you invited me to the guild, man. I'm recording a podcast, I can't. So, anything you guys want to bring up right away to this podcast? Yeah, this patch sucks so badly. We're Aliens, what the heck? It's like, maybe they're just doing this so everybody quits and comes back for Big Bang. I doubt it. Let's see what's the point of that book. <laughs> and... What's the point of it, anyway? Because Big Bang, like, school starts and people kind of... They, wouldn't they want to keep players playing Maple Story instead of making them quit so the badge updates? Well, I'm pretty sure Nexon knows that they have older players because they have these offers for free NX where you have to, like, buy a subscription and have credit cards and shit. Yeah, so come on, man. I have a credit card. No... You well, you need to be eighteen to have an actual credit card. Oh, sorry, debit card. But that's what you need to sign up with. For those like Yeah, numbers. you can have like credit debit cards. Anyways, they fucked up pretty bad with this alien thing because of that that stage two was a like six days early. So they had an emergency server check. Fix that. So there's a majority of players who got the uh Bing Alpha suit early I guess including me and Mike and uh yeah these aliens they're just totally replacing all the spawn in every single map it's kind of ridiculous however you all say you Except are that. safe in many dungeons and uh New and City MP3. what? Singapore yeah Singapore and some select I think, maps like, it's like anything it's anything except for the Content made by Korean Mixer, I think. Correct. You know, if they had an emergency server check, I don't understand why they just didn't fix it. They didn't do anything, it seemed like. Uh, they stopped the stage two, is what they did. Because it wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah, but stage two was the aliens. Yeah, and, and still they here. didn't take away the aliens. Yeah, I see what you mean. It's pretty ridiculous. It's annoying a lot of people. Yep. Can't get my time to tumble quest on yeah, anything. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass. Uh, Maple Story next one also extended the dual blade level up thing where you get your. Uh, your dual blade mask. They extended that for two weeks. So you guys who suck at training can uh, get that. They also added a new pet, which is a monkey in a fucking suit, I guess. It didn't tell me they look like a monkey at all. It looks like some kind of like weird robot thing. Yeah, it's pretty weird. Oh, and they added Palm Song. Yeah, Which for the awesome. low, low price of 19k NX or $19 uh, or 190 mil, you can use that and avoid 
using a slot on your items. Waste some money. Yeah, that's what I think. It's better than white scroll in the case that uh, a white scroll uses it used whether or not you pass it or fail it. That's really the only perk of Pam song. Well, I guess it's going to decrease the value of white scrolls by a lot. Especially if it stays. Well, they'll go down to 195 mil. Maybe even less. Uh, I don't think they will. Because Palm Song is better, so so White Scrolls should be like 150 mil at least, max. Well, it doesn't matter if it's better. Not everyone has the NX, so I think it'll stay. We'll see. I say it'll go to 195 sure. mil. People don't give a shit if it's better or not. They just want the money. Um, yeah, so it gets quite expensive if you plan on using that. Also, I have about this patch. Sorry, go on. Okay, uh, what are you saying about this patch? No, I was gonna say that um, they, I thought like there was um, cash up trading, like released in Tespia. I thought that would be released in this patch, but I guess not. I'm so excited for that. I can finally like, sell all the permanent stuff I didn't like. Yeah. Well, that's what happens when you have more than one character playing, right? See if you stick to one character, yeah. then you can you won't have to worry about buying permanent NX. Why not? Well, because you have one character. No, I don't really care about NX. Like when I have NX clothes, I don't train. You get me? I just like showing it off in that time. <laughs> <laughs> That's sad. Uh, yeah, man, everybody likes my bunny hat. Yeah. Well, they're lying to you then. No, I I had my store open yesterday, and everybody was like, "Oh, awesome bunny hat!" And I was like, "Thank you, brother." They also added Dragon Lord Snack Attack into this patch. What does that even do, anyway? I've seen some screenshots, but yeah, excuse me, my throat is really dry. Um, use the Gatch Pawn uh, between August nineteenth and September fourteenth. And along with your item, you will get a chance to get one of ten chocolates. Okay. There are nine types of chocolates that can be collected for, this is a quote, awesome gifts for you and your fellow maplers. I'll read these uh, instructions. Here's what to do. When you receive a chocolate in either normal or melted state, it will be placed in your setup inventory. When you get nine normal chocolates, a UI will Whoa. pop up that holds the chocolate in its proper place. You won't receive two of the same normal chocolates for Gatch blah, blah blah. When you have all nine in the box, click Summon Dark Lord. Dark Lord will unfurl his wings and reveal himself to you and send out a world message. So that blue text that shows up. Um, you kill that motherfucker and he drops five boxes that only you can loot, so that's good. Um, but you have to make a quick decision because in 10 seconds you can pick up one box and the rest will disappear. Well, that fucking sucks. When the Dark Lord disappears, uh, wait, get more chocolates, but I'll spend more money. Anyways, so yeah, get these chocolates, summon Dark Lord, kill Dark Lord, loot box. Possible things you can oh, get in the box is a Dragon Lord necklace, spend more which money. is uh, all, all, like plus nine to all. And uh, it has a one slot, which you can use a Dragon Lord Ruby, which drops from the boxes that adds six weapon attack, six magic attack, fifteen accuracy. And then he also drops a Dragon Lord Chair and a Dragon Lord Glove, which the glove is cash up. I don't know if it adds anything. Pretty sure it adds weapon attack. Huh? They also added some things to catch upon, including a sheep chair. Which is <laughs> interesting, yeah. <laughs> um, they added the UFO mount, and they added the owl mount, which Lina predicted. They also added the tone, the shoulder equipment, the toenails into Gachapon, and they added the dual blade master books into the Gachapon. So you don't need to buy. Actually, you need to spend an X still, but you don't need to buy the book outright. 
So if you want to lower your odds of getting a mastery book for Dewblade, get a Gatchapon ticket. Yeah, so that's wow, Joey that's Smack Attack. And one more cool event is the Great Gatchapon Giveaway, which is where you <laughs> play the shittiest game on the planet, level up three times, cut yourself for wasting your time, and you get five Gatchapon tickets. Oh, that's yeah, that's how it works. Then you go to the hospital. Or not. Uh, oh, guys, let's um, scroll through this news. Blah, blah, blah fucking um, stupid quest. Okay, I have some evidence that Big Bang will come next patch. You can hear it. Because uh, we all know how accurate your predictions are. We, okay, okay <laughs> but let this us, is a quote from next Let's go to that in a second. So let me finish up some maple okay. news here. Uh, the last thing is big savings on the back to school gear. Some bullshit, waste your NX, get shitty stuff. Alright, so what were you talking about, Ali? Oh. And there's some nice, uh, thingies. Equipment enhancement uh, exploits. Hmm. Seems nice. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a sec. It's dumb. But yeah, you were talking about your prediction? Evidence. Yeah, um, basically. I have a quote from Nexon. Are you sure you don't want to call this an thing. observation instead? Okay, fine. Observation. Okay. That way, you don't get egg on okay. your face. From the... Uh, it's uh, it's categorized under news, and it's titled The Visitors. I've s I'm sure many of you have seen it. Okay, uh, at the very, very beginning, I quote, There have been signs that the Black Mage is returning with massive monsters continuing to shake up the maple the world by land and sea. Mm. End quote. So could this mean it's some kind of precursor to the update? Mm, they could be talking about the aliens, since it's in the visitor's news. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but come on. Wow. Wait, <laughs> like massive monsters. No, I see where you're coming from, Ali, because continuing. in KMS, they, they, that's pretty much what it says in KMS when they added the Big Bang. It says, like, Dark Lord, like, brings monsters or whatever. So I think... But if okay, you we'll see. If you put that in context, Dark or Black Magician continuing to add monsters, uh, Black Magician has been adding monsters since the beginning of Maple Story, so that includes everything we already have. And if he's continuing to add, then he's continuing to add... Aliens. No, to shake up the maple world. So, it shake up means like toss, turn, big bang. What could mean that? Uh, you're giving too much credit to know. Nexon. I don't think they know how to play with words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seeing as all their awesome grammar in the game. Yeah, well, take a look on the and main like site. Ten year olds maple tips. Uh, when they first added this, <laughs> um, the get geared for visitor invasion. Uh, it was get geared for visitor invasion, so they misspelled it when they announced <laughs> it. But um, this fucking visitor thing is gonna last like all month, so we're not gonna get Big Bang for a while if we do get it. True that. True that, brother. Gangster. Homie. Cause like each stage is a week, isn't it? Cheese spice. There's a certain amount of hours in each one. You can check it on the Yeah, website. well, yeah, it's like 168 hours. That's like a week. And then 360, and then, wait, 380 or something like that. Yeah, so it's going to be like a couple month, months for this quest to end. And, uh, fuck, I just wanted to go so away. So this could mean that they're preparing for Big Bang? Mm. Since they won't release Yeah, that could content. be a possibility. They could be like giving us the shittiest event ever just to prepare for Big Bang. I can see them doing that. Yeah, they're like making everything, testing it all out. And then they're going to release Tespia and then we'll be like, No, <laughs> Ali was so right. No, they're not going to test it. Why would they do that? You no, they got to wait for all the dual blade events to end first before they introduce yeah, new jobs. Man, this... Yeah, it's not... Oh, cheers. 
But, uh, I was gonna say something. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, our, like, updates are gonna be so much better than KMS's because they, like, got, they released stuff little by little. Or, oh, you will. Or maybe, like, two patches or something. We may get bigger updates, but they're definitely not better. First of all, it's the same shit. Second of all, it never works. I'm pretty sure KMS has proper patches. I don't know. I haven't played. I don't think they have problems. True. Emergency server checks. And then, like, roll back. And then everybody keep keys. Yeah, I think they need to hire Koreans to translate the code. Because it's fucking... I mean, we everyone says it every patch. Is that Nexon fails, Nexon fails. But Nexon knows they fail. Yeah. They're not going to do shit about it. <laughs> Maybe if it was like pay to play, it would be a lot better. I doubt it. Fucking the reputation is up. so horrible. Yeah, thank you. I got to level 201. Nice. Yeah, I know. It's impossible. So, anything else you guys want to t to throw in here? You fuckers are not talking. I'm talking about Lannan and Mike. Fuck that shit. It's because Allie's here. I need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I won't. I'll talk about the Mapster iPhone game later. For now, you guys talk. Well, that, well, that was pretty much it for Maple News. Um, the fucking enhancements. No, 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 no. Uh, Landon and Mike have to talk because we've been talking for a while, man. Yeah. Hey, everybody! Welcome to the Jesse and Allie Show, where we talk about Maple Story news. Yeah. Landon, Mike, you want to talk about anything here? Yeah, you just <laughs> talked about everything already. Well, Allie fucking talked. And so, yeah. Do you guys know what's happening with the yeah. enhancement scroll exploit? Yeah, you go to the happy the Christmas place, you drop the scrolls on the tree, and then you pick them up, and then they're 100% every time. Something stupid like that. Kind of like that. I'm not going to oh, yeah. tell people how to do it, but basically... I thought that was just event. Yeah, well, Christmas. that's part of the exploit, right? Um, oh, I'm not I see. telling people how to do it, but... Basically, lets you use an enhancement scroll, or a clean say slate scroll, or a dark scroll, or anything like that. It allows you to use it, and if it fails, um, a slot will not be, or a slot will be taken, but your shit won't be blown up. So, yeah, it works. That's how. That's what it is. And uh, there's people getting like eight stars on their shit. And yeah, but uh, it's not like all the time. People, are, I swear, people aren't doing it like a lot. I've only seen it twice or something. No, trust me, I've seen it all weekend. Oh, okay. And yes, it is being abused because um, it's public. So anybody can do it. And uh, the items that have been you like made during this exploit, I believe they will be deleted from the MapleStory servers. Because it's pretty easy to track something like that, considering you the server sends a message globally to everyone saying that blah blah enhanced this weapon eight times so these guys are retarded thinking they can get away with it I agree yeah do they not think of that? <laughs> well, well just think the whole well, some can be true what if somebody actually does say that will not be detected it's like what I'm saying right now is they like, they could probably detect it. Yeah, they will be able to check through. Closer to you. Yeah, someone's bound to be lucky. You know. So. Ah, uh, you know the odds <laughs> of doing that eight times. Yeah, but someone possible. could possibly. Yeah. Okay, it's possible. 
but it's never gonna happen. You just need to think about it, man. Never say never, man. You guys are giving the next one too much credit. Credit. I think they're gonna fucking take away all their equipment. I doubt it. Probably fucking fix the aliens next patch or server check or whatever. And be like, oh, that. Let's call it a day. Need to fucking forget about it. Jeez. Speed that be down or? They're just okay. Mike, move closer to your mic or something. They're just gonna um. Ah, my fucking wrist hurts. I'm jerking off too much. They're just gonna. They're not gonna fix the aliens. They're not gonna. They don't give a fuck. To them, think about this. Oh no, there's aliens. I guess I'll need to buy two times the XP to get more out of this map. That's what they're thinking. It's like, oh, we fucked up. Just leave it. It's all good. They'll just buy fucking two times. Yeah, and then just give us times two event for an hour or two. Yeah, and we the aliens will still be oh, there. Oh, we're sorry. This will fix everything. Yeah. But you fucking little kids think, like, because it pleases them so much, so it works. So little kids are like, yay, fucking I'm done my homework. I can have one hour to change the XP. I'm happy. Everything's all forgiven. But no, it's not. Not to me, anyways. I don't understand. Thinking about mm -hmm. it, it's just like Nexon's a business, and they've run every patch into the ground, like so fucking <laughs> catastrophically. And they still dual blade patch, this yeah. patch. Oh, especially a dual blade patch. And now they fucking they just get away with it. I mean, they're still making millions of dollars. I'm every minute. Yeah, I'm striking. I refuse to spend any more NX after I spent the NX. I give you, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you say that. Yeah, well. Yeah, just like you said, you can finish all the quiz. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're. I don't know if you guys noticed, but they're making it now so that if you you get a huge advantage for spending money on the game, make sure it's free to play. But users who don't spend NX will not be able to catch up to those who do. Plain and simple. Yeah, after double the time they would, but most people well, don't even play that long yeah, to catch up. That's how it used to be, but now we have Pam Song, we have Magic Cubes, we have shit like this. I can just give someone such a huge yeah. advantage. Like fucking there is the game. Those like plus fucking twenty two percent stat things. I mean magic cubes to take to do that. I mean you gotta be insanely lucky to get that on your first try. You gotta be sucking Nexon's dick. Free to play, expensive to master. Yes. But what can you do when you live in a shoe? Well, if people don't like the game, they should just quit. Simple as that. Yeah, that's true. But then you spend money to like the game. See, no. I don't think because that's you it. Like it. Maple Story is fun. And that's the catch right there, is that it's, it's fun when you first start out, and then you spend money on it, then you hate your life, then you eat a whole bag of fucking cookies. Then you, like, waste $30, and then... Yeah, all your you know, I don't want to think about how much money. Item. Yeah, scrolling is just fucking waste. I mean, it's so addictive. It's kind of like, uh, they, next time catches on to that, that's why they have magic cubes, is because they know everybody's addicted to, like, gambling. These little kids are fucking addicted to gambling, man. They buy these magic cubes, gamble, see if they can get better stats. And they cry when they don't. And then they buy more to get better. But, whatever. Alright. Yeah. Mike and Lana aren't prepared for this. Anyways, Allie, why don't you talk about the new iPhone game, Maple Story? so funny 
Tell me how he says me and how he says me and Landon. I'm not prepared for it, but we're talking. Nah, man, you gotta bring some shit. Or whatever, yeah. Okay. okay, okay. So fuck that shit. You're I the one that postponed it. this for two weeks. <laughs> Okay, so it's safe. So time how's the me. iPhone game? Yeah, um, it's actually pretty fun. While I was on holiday, I s like was on MapleStory website, and they were like, "Oh, look at this MapleStory thing you came out." So I clicked buy, three pounds, or it's like five dollars, and it's actually like pretty popular. A pretty popular game in the U.S. It's on the charts, on the ranking thingy, as the most free to play game. Not not free to play, pay to app thing. And uh, basically, it's almost like Map Story. The spawns are kind of different. It's basically questing, no grinding. It, uh, you can grind, but it takes a long time. Um, and you'd probably run out of money quickly. Yeah, you buy items, you can scroll. It's 100% each time. Um, max level is 99. And yeah, they're, they're, uh, there's Victoria Island. Um, Elnaf and Orbis, and there's also Magatia. So, uh, Victoria Island has Perion, Henesis, Kerning, and the Sleepy Wood Dungeon. It looks nothing, it has the graphics of Maple Story, yeah, uh, and the music. But the sad thing is, is that you can't, tur you can't turn off the music, which you can't put your own music while you're playing it. So, And there's some bugs and glitches still in the game. Which I got pretty annoyed at. Uh, Is this game developed by Nexon? Yeah, it's developed by Nexon Mobile. So, yeah. Nexon Some Mobile, right? Things. Official man. Yeah, wasting all the fucking game. time making that shit and not fucking making the updates <laughs> proper. Yeah, I'd rather have a nice update, like Big Bang, instead of this game. And I think it's. It's pretty expensive, actually. I think it should be like at least a pound less. Uh, yeah, it's pretty addictive, actually. I rated it like nine out of ten. So actually, a pretty fun game for a phone. If it was like a console or anything or PC game, it would suck balls. Yeah, but for an iPhone game, it's like nine out of ten. Okay, how do the controls work? Oh, um, I'll put some screenshots on the forums. Uh, you basically get four kind of quick slot slots. Um, you use two of them for potions, HP and MP. Uh, the potions and everything are different prices. So you basically have like two skills to use and your basic attack. Uh, the controls are just on the left hand side, and the quick slots are on the right hand side. Um, I don't know, it's the controls they still need fixing, they're kind of bad right now. Kind of jumpy. Has and anybody you can, like, slow it, like has anybody played the uh Maple Story DS game? Can't read Korean man. Yeah, I was just about to ask that. No. But I was watching uh YouTube videos about it. Hmm. I'm pretty sure there's like English. So Yeah, it seems like it. Like, but the final boss is just funny. Like you're hitting extremely high numbers. I don't know. Are these games like? Do they incorporate? Well, no one's played the GS, but Ali does the eye touch, or whatever. I don't give a shit about Apple stuff. Does it have the story um, of the Black Magician and stuff? No. Well, um, yeah, it actually does kind of in a way. But it's not, it's not the Black Magician, it's like some chick that does, that makes all the monsters kind of mad and stuff, and attack villagers. Hmm. So, oh, so maybe, did you mention like, maybe like the Black shit? Magician is a girl. Oh, you can only, this is like Thief Edition, so you can only be a bandit or a assassin. And No fourth uh, job? You get your first... There's only thir three job advancements, so your first job advancement is at level 10, second, 30, and then third at 60. And, yeah, I, I haven't gone...
many characters do you have on that version? <laughs> I, have, <laughs> I have one. That was a pretty good shot. Wow, Guys. I'm proud of you. Yeah, thank you. It's level 52. What, so, yeah. what else do you want to add about the game? Fix the bugs. Um, it's kind of funny that the game has bugs. Oh yeah. and it's made by Nexon. I find that quite hilarious. <laughs> and and grammar errors if you actually read the quests and not just like click next. Oh yeah, so just put, I'll check the forums. And I hope that they add the like different additions. And they should add like on online feature, so like you can do PQs and stuff like that with uh, other people, or at least have rooms or something like that. That could be interesting. Be a lot more fun. Level story is getting fucking complicated, man. Speaking of complications, um, KMSD got the new guild stuff. Kind of works like uh, the f the family buffs, except they're quite expensive, and they last for five minutes. So five minutes. That's it. Yeah, you know, I'm not sure if that's like a, a Tespia thing, or if that's like the desired length of time that they want. I don't know. Landing right up a bun bunch of it. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure. It's all from Tespia, so as far as we know, everything costs GP points to like use. Uh, does everyone know what Tespia is for those listeners? Tespia is um, test servers in different versions of MapleStory. Does like Taiwanese have Tespia and shit like that? China Ma MapleStory? I do not know. Well, I get it. Tespia, like test. Wow. Yeah. That took a while. <laughs> I didn't even notice it. <laughs> I did. Interesting. Well, la di da. Well, yeah. <laughs> Do you want a fucking award? Yes. <laughs> I want it in 1992. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hey, that's a, that was a inside joke from Ventrilo. Where can we get the Ventrilo information to join, guys? Uh, maybe apicguild.com under forms and guides. Wait. We have a website? <laughs> yes. Say what? Lyman, What's we that? have a website. You can find all the Guild Apic news along with our events. And yeah. Speaking of events, the Apit Lottery is still going. So anyone who wants to get their buy their tickets. Jackpot seven million miso. Come I'll on, buy man. ten. Can I buy over nine thousand tickets? Yes, if you give me the miso. Well letter. Jesse, how does this work? Do you like put the names in a hat or something and then draw a name? No, or well what you do you like, Oh Mike Juan. No, you buy the tickets and uh each ticket, yeah. it will be a string of five numbers that you choose, okay? So ticket one will be fucking 23, 42, blah, 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 okay? In between one and... Be in between the number one and the number 51, you choose a number between those. So if you buy one ticket, you choose a set of five numbers, and that's what your one ticket. If you buy two tickets, you have to choose two sets of five numbers, okay? If you buy 25 so tickets... So what if nobody wins? Well, if nobody wins, the lottery is carried over into the next draw and then you can buy more tickets and then it'll keep growing and growing. I have the information on the site about how many numbers win what percentage of the jackpot and uh, how much each ticket costs. Okay. So you had how many digits can you do? Uh, five. It's uh, five numbers between one and fifty one. So you can go ahead and choose whichever one. But you can't choose, you can't buy 51 tickets and choose 1 through 51. Okay? It's one ticket, is a set of how five much, numbers. How much does each ticket cost? 
Well, I forget. But <laughs> I can go and check for you. I added the option of <laughs> donating to the website to buy tickets. Like uh, with uh, your mom's credit card or whatever. Yeah, guys, I donated $100. Did you get it? Yes, I spent it on alcohol. Yeah, <laughs> you spent it on alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, consider donating because the website's getting expensive to run now. The more shit, more people we have coming yes. here. Just for everybody just who wants to know, free, one ticket costs a hundred k miso. <gasps> yeah, that's pretty cheap. I and can't that. or fifty cents donation through via PayPal or something like that. Hundred k for one ticket. Think about that. Hundred k, and you have a chance to win seven it's million. It's like a bubble gum. So far, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty good. Pretty good. Twenty tickets is two point five million. I want the blue ballon. So yeah, this uh, event has. I think it will we'll have it ongoing. So we, I want to have the lottery like always happening. And once we have people interested in it, we'll have like a weekly lottery. But right now we're just trying to get people to buy tickets uh, to raise the jackpot to get more interest going and in, get the ball rolling. But this has the potential to be like a quite large jackpot if it gets carried over. It could be like a hundred mil miso jackpot. Unfortunately, I can't buy a ticket. That'd be sweet. Um, but the junior masters can buy a ticket, so y you guys can all buy tickets. I will be drawing the ticket with a. Are you fucking kidding me? What? I'm gonna go slip my wrists now. No, you guys can. You can buy tickets. Oh. <laughs> you can still flip your wrist if you want. Um, Do a thing. <laughs> <laughs> what was I going to say? Yes, the draw for the ticket, for the numbers, will be with a program that generates numbers randomly, and I will broadcast it live when I'm doing it. So everybody knows that it's legit and that I'm not tr trying to rig it up or steal any of the miso. I keep the miso separate from my, like I put it in my storage. So I won't be spending it. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you do make some money, right? We're taking out like a tax. Like yeah. A tiny like. A reason. Tiny bit, but one of the reasons for doing this lottery, um, is to, we'll take like we have to decide probably like five percent of the total jackpot, and uh, it will go towards expanding 16-bit and 32-bit, and uh, 64-bit if it gets there and it will go towards guild stuff like that and uh, buying I don't know like what? say what? yeah it will go towards stuff like that and uh, buying items for future events like deputy stars and stuff like that so yeah it's kinda like a uh, fundraiser so type how thing. much is this tax? um we haven't decided yet. I think it'll be five percent of the total jackpot will go towards all the guild expenditures. Okay, and how many people are actually listening to the podcast at this moment? I do not know. Can you check? I think zero because the radio doesn't work for me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> excuse me. Doesn't work, eh? Fuck my life. <laughs> well, it does matter. We, uh, we have quite a few people that actually go to the website and listen to it. Uh -huh. well, we just ask them. Well, I guess it's not working, so we can't ask them. I guess you can in Maple. Anything you guys want to add here? You know, Lana yes. brought up a good point. The uh, when we were talking yesterday, I want to make like a video tutorial for Guild PQ and like stuff like that. I like record it and then narrate it and like show them what to do, shit like that. That could be yeah, good for retard[s]. I mean noobs.
I mean, non-experienced members. I mean, Allies. <laughs> hey, I like the GPQ. I GPQ like crazy. But yeah, to elaborate on that, the idea was to uh, make a video, like, I don't know, voiceover. Like, it'd just be uh, Jesse, like, doing the PQ, and he'd be narrating everything, t what to do, step by step, and yeah. It'll be good. Instructional video. May even show you how to put on a condom afterwards. <laughs> I don't use condoms. Are you sure it's not too big for you? I collect STDs. Collect? Yeah. Hepatitis A, hepatitis B, you know. There's 26 to collect. If you get it. <laughs> Gotta catch them all. <laughs> STDs. Um, on an unrelated maple note, have you guys, do you guys remember the little short animation clips called The Untalkative Bunny? No. Nobody? He's like a little bunny. Was that aired on TV? It was a long time ago. It was on like Teletoons. When that shit was around. If it still is, I don't know. I'm not a kid anymore. It was like an... It was an untalkative bunny, obviously. And he had like a squirrel friend that like... Fucking did shit with him. Uh, you'd probably remember it. If, if you've seen a video, you would remember Because we can. And it's free. Yes. Just like Maple Story. Try Jesse, what is time. wrong with your voice? Are you fucking okay, man? Are you dying? No, man. He's going through puberty. <laughs> it's because I've been fucking practicing my beatbox the whole weekend, so my throat is sore. Nice. Oh, yeah. I bet. <laughs> Yo, I'm fucking serious. Was I too deep? Back. I actually was practicing beat, my beatbox. beatbox for me. Drop a beat. No, I can't do it. I'm still trying to make it so I don't breathe out when I do my bass. <laughs> Yeah, Mike, drop a beat. No, man. Boom, boom. I don't drop a beat no. until you drop a beat. <laughs> no, Mike has to drop a beat. Because, dude, I want to record no, I want to record a new intro with us, like, fucking doing an 8-bit fucking beatbox or something. Once I get better. Hi, my name is Craddy Lip. I'm a level 122 bowmaster that doesn't grind. It's confirmed Ali has ADD. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was out of nowhere. Oh, well, you guys are just talking about beatboxing. It's pretty boring. Somebody really wants to let you guys beatbox. They want to Is beatbox. there a name uh, for like everyone? a condition that, you know, you interrupt people like all the time? That's got to be something. <laughs> it's called the alley. <laughs> alley being a bitch. No. Alley being alley. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. There probably is. Whatever. Interrupt. Interrupt How about you Google it? To Maximus. You guys watch any new uh, movies lately? Yeah. Brothers. Oh, yeah. I think oh, is that that new gay porn? I took the dildo out of my ass. But, anyways, I took Mike's advice. Or I, yeah, he said he liked Twilight, the newest one. I was like, hmm, Mike's a good guy. Hold Maybe on. does Mike have a dick? <laughs> was it like? <laughs> Did you see it? I I watched it. Yeah. What did you I think of the fight scene, like... man? Oh my god, you guys are total fags. It's the only good, only oh my god, interesting Twilight. part. There's like two minutes where wolves were like biting vampires' arms off and shit. The rest of it was yeah, fucking oh, yeah. Bella and the fucking Edward guy, like two like so centimeters from their are face. You, are you team Jacob or team Bella Edward? being a slut. Elmo. <laughs> you guys. Oh, whatever, man. You guys should yeah. chop off your dicks. You don't deserve to have them. <laughs> hey, oh, I did say I like the back in Nam. Um... <laughs> so I have nothing to lose. 
back in Nam, vampires out, didn't fucking shine in the light. Back in my day, we throw some glitter on you. Back in my day, we didn't. Oh have, man, we have had you guys seen the? Uh, shut up, Ali. Have you guys seen the new spoof called "Vampires Suck"? Yeah, <laughs> it's for Twilight. <laughs> I want to watch that. It looks funny. Yeah, it, seems it does. Funny too. Beardy ring. But anyway, that was off topic. I'm so sorry. It's okay, man. I understand. Alright. <laughs> oh, I just can't get over how gay you guys are. I've seen the first one. Yeah, guys, okay, you guys but so I haven't gay. seen the second and third one. I haven't seen any. That's, that makes me like a hardcore man. There's a fourth and fifth one, so. <laughs> get ready for those. I'm so excited! It's like Harry Potter. Oh my god, Harry Potter is coming out soon. Oh my god. Hey, don't whoa, mention whoa, Harry whoa. Potter. Don't, sh don't shit on Harry Potter. That new movie looks sweet. No, I'm still yeah, saying don't shit on it because Hermione or whatever. Everyone would bang her. Yeah, man. She's over 18 now. Fuck yeah. Where are the nudes? Who is? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Emma Watson, man. Selena Gomez? Oh. <laughs> Selena <Sleepy> Gomez? <laughs> is that the chick from Wizards of... Wizardly Place or something? Yeah. God. Yeah. So cute. You fucking pedophile. She's not 18, is she? <laughs> uh, I think she just turned 18 or something. Alright, it's all good then. Oh, yeah. Whatever happened to the Olsen twins? That was like the best. They like fucking thing ever now. At the alley, drugging up, ODing every hour. <laughs> oh, they like, died of anorexia. Nothing. Oh my god, my hips are so big. <laughs> I need to like throw up. Put a straw on my ass and like yeah, pick myself. Uh, Ashley, help me. Help me, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, what was their TV show called that they had that was on like YTV? The Full House. Full House. No, that was when they were little kids. I'm talking about when they were like older. Oh. I don't know. Oh, uh, that one. Two of a kind. I remember it, but. Two of a kind, yeah, there we go. Really, because I just made that up, but it sounded familiar. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that did, actually. No, I'm pretty sure, yeah. I think so, I don't know. Whatever. That sounds right. Do you think their vaginas look the same? Mm. That, I actually want to know if twins' vaginas look the same. Yeah, but well. does your vagina look the same as Jeff's? Cool! <laughs> <laughs> that was low. Oh. That was pretty good. <laughs> Props. High five. Internet high five. Kiki. So yeah, I think that's it for the Maple Story news anyways. Anyone got any like personal news they want to talk about? I'm pregnant. Yeah, man. I got Congratulations. Is it boy or girl? It's both. I got Love like Lady Gaga. the first one to violate it. Yeah, like a Lady Gaga. I'm actually gonna name my kid Gugu. Nice. Lady Gugu. <laughs> Lady Gugu. Gugu. Like Chuck, Chuck <laughs> <laughs> Someone's phone is ringing, by the way. Fucking answer it. Okay, hold on. It's Bill Collectors. <laughs> the ARS. We do even have IRS in Canada. To be honest, if you owe money, they can't do shit. Why don't you just buy all the NX you want? Because I'm responsible. Just because you're a genuine person? Because I spent all my website for the guild. Oh, fuck. I spent all my money for the guild on the website. How much do you owe anyway? Too much. Like, how much do you have to pay? It's for all from when I was living with that fucking bitch, man. Why would she do to you? What happened? She made me spend money and then fucking booked it pretty much. Broke up. And then, like, everything was in my name, so I have to end up paying everything. Don't ever 
Everyone, okay, here's my advice to you if you're a man, okay, be gay, take in the ass, do whatever, just stay away from women. That's how Jesse met me on eHarmony.com. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you think this shit actually works? <laughs> yeah. We were matched you. because we like the same brand of spaghetti. Huh. Nice. Yeah. That's the harmony, man. They get fucking descriptive. They like the details, man. I have six toes. My pubes grow profusely. It's like a lagoon. Stick your hand down there. Oh, yeah. Crickets come out. Crawl over your face. Um, my left toe should be on my right foot, but it's not. And I have brown hair. Blue eyes and an occasion. <laughs> you want to date me? Click yes. <laughs> no. Hit next. That's my dream date. That's how Jesse <laughs> met me. Oh, hey, yes. I have something we can talk about. The dual blade invincibility frame glitch slash change, possibly. Question mark. Question mark. Exclamation. Colon. That's probably the best grammar thing is the colon, just because I like saying it. Colon cancer. Apostrophe. Ah, uh, yes. The invincibility frame Tilda. would possibly ch changed. But I think it's just a glitch. Not much to touch on. I just thought I'd mention it. So, Jesse, what is this glitch? What does it do? Well... Before you used to be able to do chains of hell followed by final blow and then go back into dark sight. But now you get like hit right after you've done chains of hell. And I was reading No way. Yeah, I was reading like a bunch of people complaining and everyone's like, Oh yeah, it's good because Dublin is so overpowered and blah 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 and I get to learn how to train your character. La di da blah blah blah. Okay. First of all, they haven't they haven't obviously played a dual blade to know that it takes skill to play them. Second of all, they were all shadowers. Fucking <laughs> QQing because dual blades were better than them. <laughs> Butt hurt. Yeah. Pussies. Twats. Hey, Chose. dude, let's do another shout out to Jackie, aka Rapid Slayer. He's getting fucking married. He's getting married! Shall be exciting. That dude's popular, man. Weddings are boring. Yeah, I like donating stuff, though. It's fun. Wait, who's Jackie? Mm. Oh my god, we've told you like four times. I don't really listen to you guys. Pay attention. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. We just tone you out. Yeah, Jackie's right. But no, so you just keep on asking for the... Yeah, I'm cute queuing. Yeah, so I'm kind of off Maple Story a lot more because I go outside, have social life, yeah. What is outside? I'm outside all day, I don't need to fucking be What's outside light? when I'm like off work. I don't even know what outside is. Is that like a place where it's hot? Like, with dangerous and germs? Yeah, I think that I heard there's bears outside. I heard there are cooties bears? outside. What's a bear? Like, is it like a woolly mammoth in Maple Story or what? All I, I heard there was something called like. sunlight outside. What? Yeah, I and I heard sun. it makes your skin glittery. Whatever. No. That sounds like dude, and bad. yeah, and if you if you're outside too long, you can get cancer. Whoa. But what what's, what's cancer? That sounds dangerous. I'm never going outside. I don't know, man. Yeah, sounds dangerous. No, not me. Is it like a Zackum? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it has, it's a boss. It's like a Zackum without having I heard somewhere. It has like a couple trillion HP. Can't be killed. No way. How big is it? 
But as big as Ali's penis. <laughs> so small. <laughs> Microscopic. Oh yeah. You must have a lot of accuracy to hit that then. Hey, speaking of penises. Like over 9,000 accuracy. Yes, because I use... Um, <laughs> Using Rogaine on your work on your testicles. No, I use two fingers. <laughs> what? My pinkies. You put your pinkies up your ass? <laughs> Is that uncommon? No, I do that. No, yeah, Jess, I think you use your thumb. <laughs> I have to use my fist. Fists of iron. If you meet someone that can fist their own ass, Socket. let me know, because that's impressive. I'd like to meet someone who can fist their own ass. <laughs> Sounds so gay. <laughs> oh, what was that? I think it happened. You just yeah. met your new man. <laughs> nice. In two weeks. Mike showed us this thing called Two Kids in a Sandbox, I think it's called. Mm. And yeah, so... I can't get that image out of my head ever again. And I just say, nobody should Google that ever. As from yours truly. Ta da. I should Google what? Two kids in the same box. Okay, one second. I do not condone this action. Nor do I. You do not scream. You don't scream, man. You scream. What's the website actually? Just Google it. It's all over the website. Right. I'm gonna tuck I'm gonna cut this. So let's uh finish this off. All right. Let's finish this podcast off. Like we do all podcasts with a review of the week. And I shall read it to you now. The title is just awesome. Just awesome. Just awesome. Five stars. That's right, five stars. Count them. Five. And his name is nickname goes here, so he obviously didn't want to put his name. And nickname goes here says, I used to listen to Aqua Road Radio, but since they stopped, I decided to go and find another podcast. When I found this one, I noticed it was very well done and had great humor because of me, and gave advice for people playing on this server. So thank you, um, nickname goes here. Guess that sucks. That's it's like plastic. It's not even real. What are you talking about? Two kids in a sandbox. Well, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the fucking review of the week. I know okay. I'm just listening. I'm just saying that. Like, Dude, so you know, I'm actually surprised at how many people like our fucking podcast. See how Allie's in it. <laughs> they like it because of me. Hey, Trust man, me. everyone contributes to the podcast, okay? Let's not throw hate Trust me, baby. <laughs> okay. Is that like the fucking Johnny Bravo or something? Check out my hair. <laughs> I remember I used to like watch that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, this concludes episode seven of uh, the Maple Story Ape podcast. What should we call it, guys? How about episode seven? I'm um, gonna mm, make a Texas sin. What should we What should we call it? Let's decide on a title right now. Dexas sins like. Shut Dexas up, Dexas Dexas All right, this something. includes episode seven. Of the Maple Story 8-Bit Podcast. This title will be Ali Has ADD. And it will be titled... No, 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 no. I don't know. No. I got one. Next Owned. Alright, Next Owned. Sounds good. This concludes episode 7. Next Owned of the Maple Story 8-Bit Podcast. This is Jesse, no, that sucks, a.k.a. Man. Dracura, signing out. And again, this week, yeah, say goodbye. Hasta la vista, la cato. I'll be back. With weapon. <laughs> that was my goodbye, man. No, I'm waiting for Allie. Mine too. Oh, alright, yeah. <laughs>